the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate our School of Ministry students. Amen. Please be seated for a few minutes. Thank you very much for... We'll be closing very early today. Thanks to our School of Ministry students. I think you should tell them a big, big, big God bless you. Amen. This is very powerful. Let me start by really appreciating all of us for um, our commitment and our understanding. It's taken a lot to invest into these great people. Um, I want to appreciate particularly the families of these people for the understanding, the sacrifices that you had to make night lectures, morning lectures, and any other time that we fix lectures. So let's celebrate every family. Thank you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. For those of you who um, those of you who are just coming today, just to let you know that this is the practicum, the practical session for our Koinonia School of Ministry students, Abuja Campus. The goal is to be able to give them a real life exposure having been taught based on the principle in scripture Jesus taught the disciples and then he sent them two by two hallelujah and I'm sure we're impressed they've done a good job and um, hallelujah so the way the way it works is that the school of ministry students literally run the entire service it's not only preaching everything ushers protocol security just a few areas where we have to help them. This is giving them a practical exposure. And um, I thank you very much for all that you have done. Proverbs 13 and verse 20. The Bible says that he who walks with the wise shall be wise. It says, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. That means the first step to being wise is to find wise people. If it is true that he who walks with the wise will be wise, it means he who walks with the anointed will be anointed. He who walks with those who have understanding. Hallelujah. Jesus called the men to himself and then to be like him. The school of ministry is not limited to pastors or those in the fivefold ministry. The idea is to be able to build kingdom ambassadors who transform society. It starts with the fivefold, but then it affects every strata of human activities and i hope that you have learned a lot from the discussions that um, came from this pulpit that god is calling us to be validators of his claims and that in order for that to happen there needs to be a number of things that must be put in place among them the discovery among them finding jesus having encounters with him and then they went on to speak about um, the various stages that we must attain onto understanding transformation of our minds empowerment etc and i know that god will bless us and help us in jesus name having appreciated them may i request that um, all of us walk um, together again with them they still have a few more weeks before their final impartation and graduation and um, the few weeks coming would be quite intense for them having the final phase of their lectures and then 
the week-long fast as they prepare for impartation. Um, essentially, the school of ministry is built on the concept of mentorship and impartation. So we spend about five to six months teaching across five major courses, pneumatology, leadership, ministry, um, personal transformation, and finance. Um, so once they are trained along these areas, then they are now prepared for impartation. We've had several people calling for when the next session will be on. You would notice we have just one session per year, and uh, we'll request that you be patient. Just keep an eye on everything and your ears open. We'll announce it here as well as our social media platforms, and the Lord will bless you. Are about the um, launching of several campuses, I don't know about now, that now. We have to pray. It takes a lot to replicate campuses and there is a standard we do not want to compromise on so we're working seeking counsel and trusting god for direction hallelujah praise the name of the lord we thank god for what god has done tonight and um for many of you you came tonight not even knowing that there might be a practicum especially for those who came for the first time i have one guarantee that number one whilst it is true that this was a practicum I want you to know that there is power in everything that has been said. This is, not, this is not acting, this is ministry. Hallelujah. So to honor your investment of your time, I would still speak over our lives at least just once and then we'll take any announcements and share the grace. I think it's a blessing that we're living early today. So that the day... So that the day you don't leave by this time you can have the memory of this day. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Let me also bless their coordinator, Isaac, and the wonderful, <laughs> Hallelujah, remarkable work. And all the leaders who have helped to put this together. Um, listen, let me just, let me say a word or two again. You are not you are not successful only because you do what you do efficiently. You are successful to the degree to which you can be secured enough to raise other people and get out of the way to let them find visibility. This, I think, is one of the major problems with ministry in Nigeria. We are full of a lot of insecurities most of the time, and we do not give people the ample opportunity to find visibility and to be blessed. No man as a single entity, you've heard me say it, can capture and communicate most efficiently the entire agenda of God. It's not going to be possible. Second Timothy 2 and verse 2. Maybe that would be the last scripture. Haven't promised to conserve time. Um, I need intercessors here now. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses. It says the same, commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. This is what we are doing. These people do not have to serve in Koinonia tomorrow. Some of them will have their own churches, their own ministries, their own businesses. The most important thing is as a united kingdom force that the purposes of God be established in and through our lives. It is not all about koinonia. It is about the kingdom. Hallelujah. So whilst this is koinonia school of ministry, the goal is not just to provide to, uh, uh, and, and to lift and raise people who would just serve in the house alone. My concern primarily is that God will have more vessels, trained, mentored, furnished, equipped to do much with even in this end time. Can we pray? Please rise. Thank you. Two prayer points very quickly. Prayer point number one. Lord, grant me the grace to be an effective witness. Someone is praying. Lift your voice and pray. My life needs to represent the purposes of God with accuracy and with precision. I obtain that grace. I obtain that grace. I obtain that grace. I obtain that grace to be a faithful witness across every place of call, 
every place of assignment in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ Koinonia is a place where God answers prayers and he answers prayers with proof. I want you to pray that one thing you are trusting God for this week. You came with burdens. You are trusting God to give you a testimony. Please lift your voice in one minute and cry unto the God of heaven as we release our faith together. Lord, grant grace unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come shaprande ke pala ko sata prasi ke de bela tusia hallelujah hallelujah here is my prophetic word for the decree tonight micah chapter 2 and verse 10 it says arise and depart for this is not your rest because it is polluted it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction arise ye and depart in the name of jesus the son of the living god every level where you have been trapped in life and destiny recycling realms that are unprofitable for your growth by the power that raised christ from the dead i declare that you arise now i declare that you arise now i declare that you arise now from poverty from failure from limitation from sickness in the name of jesus arise and shine arise and shine i prophesy upon your destiny arise and shine in the name of jesus christ hallelujah the bible says there is hope for a tree even if it be cut short he said at the scent of water you have heard the word of god tonight therefore everything that looks like death around your life around your finances by the power that raised christ from the dead let it jack back to life now let it jack back to life now let it jack back to life now i decree and declare may the lord put your case in the minds of your helpers and compel them to attend to you i send it as a prophetic word may your helpers remember you for good in the name of jesus christ and anyone who comes to your destiny in the spirit of sambalat and tobias there were two men who came to stop nehemiah from building in the name of jesus everyone who comes by the spirit of sambalat and tobias we command that they will not stand in the name of jesus christ And every negative counsel of Ahitophel in your place of work, in your place of business that is advising your helpers to fight the purposes of God, we decree and declare their ears are shut to negative counsels. Whatever should not have left your life but by manipulation of altars by divination or maybe even by your own carelessness i declare in the name of jesus between now and next week sunday may the god of restoration call them back may the god of restoration call them back in the name of jesus christ is it all right if i speak about over your finances I hate poverty I do not believe in it it is demonic it is satanic there is nothing godly in it I declare over your life 
whatever has recycled financial pain listen take it as a prophetic word in the name that is above all names literally without exaggeration for many of you here by this time tomorrow in the name of Jesus may the Lord turn things around for you may the Lord turn things around for you by favor may the Lord turn things around by this time next week may the Lord turn things around in the name of Jesus Christ the Bible says now the Lord of peace himself give you peace always and by all means whatever it would take for you to find peace this week may it manifest whatever it takes for you to find peace in the name of Jesus may it manifest anyone holding on to what is yours they have been instructed by God and systems to release it and they have refused we compel them to release it now let me pray over your spiritual life there is a gradual frustration and decline as you look across the horizon people are becoming discouraged and it's as if serving God does not pay and now the devil is already pushing people whether economically across Nigeria and Africa but the devil is a liar can I tell you the Bible says for as long as they sought the Lord he made them to prosper do not think seeking the Lord is anti-success do not think loving the Lord is anti-progress any spirit fighting your spiritual growth fighting your prayer life fighting your passion for God I command that they live your life right now they live your life right now they live your life right now koinonia hear me i speak unto you when men say there is a casting down for you i prophesy there must be a lifting up in the name of jesus finally i place a mark of honor upon your head and i decree and declare everything that makes for shame and reproach by this unction let it come to an end in your life i say it again by this mark of honor in the name that is above all names shame and reproach comes to an end in your life may that proverb ichabod never be mentioned in your dwelling again for in Jesus name we pray Amen. for in Jesus name we pray Amen. by the grace of God next week Sunday will be a miracle service for the month of July and hold on please it is not just announcing it I've been sensing in my heart right from when we we're over in Zaria um, I had been sensing that God is going to do something spectacular. May I request a minute from your time that as a family, let's speak over the miracle service. Is that fine? In one minute, lift your voice and say, Father, finally, let someone's encounter come this Sunday coming. Bring visitations, breakthroughs, liftings, healings, transformation, turn lives around change of stories in the name of Jesus someone is praying declare for those who are coming across the nations of the earth no plane crash no car accidents they will not be victims of the activity of kidnappers preserved by the word of the Lord in Jesus name I pray father we thank you for tonight we thank you for your grace thank you for our precious students Lord we are proud of what you are doing in this house and continually we will declare your praise to the nations and we will declare that you be magnified 
thank you for the wonderful session learning and growing thank you for all that we have received tonight we obtain grace to be doers in the name of Jesus as we depart oh God we depart with your favor as we depart we depart with fresh fire for you as we depart we depart with honor as we depart we depart expecting restoration as we depart we depart with joy in the name of Jesus Christ and I decree and declare no one here will fall by the sword this week no one here will be a victim of kidnappers or assassins in the name of Jesus Christ you are supernaturally preserved in Jesus name we pray we're going to share the grace after which I'll request that you just prophesy to someone by your left and right and tell them I am a faithful witness the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore amen surely all the days of our lives amen god bless you and see you next week sunday dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline